a thousand miles a gallon. Oh man! And it, it's <laughs> it's just not so. You okay. cannot make hydrogen with electricity off your alternator uh, <laughs> and make the car go further. I'm sorry. Another uh, perpetual motion. Another uh, version uh, of perpetual motion. Uh, if they can hide it amongst enough conversions, they think they've, they've, they've done it. something. It's but the amazing thing is, in the results, they actually convince themselves they're winning. Yeah. And their measurement <laughs> techniques are not too good. <laughs> right. However, it's put a whole um, array of little PWMs uh, on the uh, eBay okay. at, at cheap. Uh, for 15, 20 bucks, you can get like a 30 amp, 12 volt pulse width modulator uh, with a little 5 volt, 5K pot on it that you use to adjust how much uh, current you use to make hydrogen. We're not actually going to make hydrogen, but if I had an Arduino with a uh, temperature probe uh, in our water system, um, then I could measure the temperature. And if it got to a certain point, I can put a little PWM output out of the Arduino between zero and five volts. Well, right. that, that can replace the pot on one of these very cheap, um, but quite strongly built um, little uh, pulse width modulators they use for the uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen production. Well, that will drive this 12 volt motor just great. And so I'll just have the Arduino check the temperature if it's higher than I like, it'll just bump our motor up one notch. A little more RPM coming out of the motor. Right, Maybe. and we'll, uh, we'll simply increase that uh, until the temperature uh, stabilizes or gets to be what I want. And then we'll start bumping it down and, uh, until the temperature starts to rise. And this will sit there and read this about uh, probably uh, 20 times a second. So it'll, and... It'll, uh, 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 do this calculation and adjust uh, the uh, voltage to this uh, Messier motor. It's where it either doesn't run at all, runs full bore, or anything in between that's necessary to try to minimize uh, the amount of um, electrical power uh, going to this pump while maintaining our temperature. Keep our temperature constant in a nice range. Right. I'll have to find a kind of a quick probe that doesn't have the usual five or six second lag in order to do that effectively. Um, but uh, that'll be a project that we'll add on later. For now, we're going to hook it up with a uh, uh, um, toggle switch, which is a little less uh, effective. Yeah. Uh, but we went ahead and mounted this on, on the thing. So that's uh, what I've got planned for the pump and the air conditioner. Here's these two members I was talking about, Brian. Let's see if we can lip the front. There's a little lip at the front of that. See okay. if you can catch it. Got it. And let me see if I can get a bolt in. Okay. Oop. I have one. I've got one in there as well. Oh, and you got the 16 millimeter there? I do. Okay, perfect. Are you started? Yeah, we got one going here. There's the bolts. They uh, hold this uh, front member to the frame. Here. So you need the, you ready? the holes in your yeah, gotta line up here. Plate to line up with them. Well, I'm having a little trouble. There we go. There we go, yeah, me too. There. Now mine just locked in. You have to kind of shove them up in there. Well, 
Me and the wrench. <laughs> Fighting with the wrench over there? Yeah, it's a marriage <laughs> made in... Uh, <laughs> made somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Now you want them snugged up pretty tight. With this honeycomb, you can start to hear a little start. Start crackle and pop. Okay. You're crushing the, uh, when you get the rice honeycomb, and we don't want the that. When we get the Rice crispy sound, that's a tight enough. That's huh? it. And there we go. You can hear it. This is a piece of our original air conditioning. Those of our motor. Yep. There we go. So we can pretty well uh, see how all this is going to work. Here's our pump. We'll hook that up to the uh, controller first, go through the controller, then through the motor, and uh, up, back up, to our up, radiator up intake. radiator hose, yeah. And uh, that'll be our cooling. This is our existing air conditioning here and here. And there's another hose that goes from here over to the uh, evaporator right. on the same side. Uh, we're not gonna fool with that too much. Uh, no. We'll take the car in to Earl. Yeah, we're gonna have to get an air conditioning <laughs> shop, I think. Get an air conditioning yeah. shop, just tell them, hey, hook them up. Yep, I think that's the best hook them idea. Hook up and charge them up. I'm not gonna fool with it. Um, we're not rated for it, for one thing. That's right, we don't have a special permit from the state, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> so, but that gives us a pretty stiff little it's, it's nice. platform <laughs> that's very lightweight and out of the way. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to put that clip on there and uh, not, not have any clearance issues. But this is very easy to trim if we do. Okay, Brain, here's what we got uh, to mount. This we got as an open system. It's on a heat sink, but this is our three-phase controller for the uh, air conditioner. I've got two big uh, green terminals here. They're screw terminals. We just stick a wire in here, and that's where a traction pack goes, minus mm -hmm. and, and positive. And then we have three outputs. Uh, the three for phases. Our, for our three phases, yeah. That go to the... Go to the compressor. The compressor. Yeah. Um, it doesn't come with an enclosure, so uh, Trace and I kind of uh, ginned up a little black box here that we can put down over the, uh, um, the unit and then mount it. Mm -hmm. But in doing so, we had a couple of opportunities. The thing comes with a little plastic, uh, a little cable that plugs in here, and a little plastic box with a um, potentiometer, a 5K pot, and a on-off switch. And that's what you use to turn on and off the, um, um, the, the compressor. Compressor. Yeah. And the, uh, the potentiometer is, uh, that's the switch there, the potentiometer, you can adjust this from Oh, about six or 7,000 BTU up to like 14,000. It uses a lot of power, mm -hmm. but um, it's, it's got a wide range in that so you can size it to different size so air conditioners. Air conditioning system, yeah. So we've uh, taken those out of the little plastic case and mounted them on our thing. I've also, I don't know if you can see here, but I've wired in a relay in parallel with the switch and brought me out a 12-volt uh, um, switch line. And what that's gonna do is let me, uh, oh, we can tie that into one of your toggle switches in the cockpit if I can find a good solid um, signal that's not a CAN bus oh, data yeah, signal right. um, that commands um, air conditioning. Um, we're gonna try to hunt down one of those and, and tie it into that. That signal or the toggle switch in the cockpit would bypass this switch and um, turn it on or turn off. Turn it on and off. Um, at the same time, when we're under the hood and testing, 
I can flip this no matter what the state of those others are and again get it on and off. And we'll be able to adjust this potentiometer uh, for uh, different uh, values uh, to, we, obviously we don't want our heat exchanger to right. ice over, uh, but at the same time we've got to compress enough to make some air conditioning, make some cold air. And so we'll play with that. The pot could eventually get replaced with a fixed resistor, but mm -hmm. that's easy enough to play around with right. it. Different days, different temperatures, and we may want to leave it adjustable and just leave it at 